get ready again. All right. All right. We'll do it again in five, four, three, two, one. They start life uh, as an acrylic rod that's had a, yeah. had a hole drilled in the middle of them. And uh, when you consume them right, they end up looking like this. So, uh, you know, I can oh, take... so the flame's just running through that. Yeah, so basically, uh, I guess uh, to give you some basics, uh, and I'm sure I don't know how much of rockets you guys understand, um, you all know what you all know what, a, uh, what a, the insides of a solid rocket booster looks like. You know, you guys been out at the Space and Rocket Center and seen, seen like the inner the Space Shuttle solid rocket booster where they have that cross section. Well, the fuel of the Space Shuttle solid rocket booster and other boosters like that is just a big solid substance, obviously, of a mixture of rubber and, and ammonia chlorate and aluminum powder and some other additives to, to make this stuff burn really hot and really fast. Essentially, this is a solid rocket booster without that ammonium perchlorate. The ammonium perchlorate is the oxidizer in that solid rocket booster. Um, in this case, our oxidizer is the nitrous oxide, and we call this a hybrid rocket because it's got a solid fuel and a liquid oxidizer in the tank. What's the solid fuel? The, it's, the, it's this acrylic, is the fuel. But it also it, uh, doubles life as a, a pressure vessel to actually hold the reaction. So it's, it's, it's the actual case of the rocket motor, too. So what happens, it'll, the reaction will be sustained until you either burn through the case, okay, but, so that one burned through at the edge there. And, uh, and this reaction will go until you burn through it, and then you lose chamber pressure and it'll stop.